guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do one palette, three looks. I've never done this before and I'm really excited. I think that it's such a good way to show you guys how to get the most out of your product. I'm just really excited. It's been a while since I sat down and filmed just some proper good makeup. Some goo makeup, some glam makeup. And the palette I'm going to use is the brand new Jaclyn Hill palette. Oh my god, you cannot see a thing. There we go. The Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. This is the volume two. If I open it up, you will see. Really bold, really colourful, really fun. I have the original Jaclyn Hill palette here as well. So there's the original and there is the volume two. I have to say volume two. The design is definitely my jam. This one, it's a classic, isn't it? But even like it's got the old Morphe logo. It's got Jaclyn's old signature. It's matte white. This one is not. This one's glossy. It's got the gorgeous new Morphe logo. It's got Jaclyn Hill in that really nice font. I really, I just love, I, I'm a bit of a font snob, so I'm very excited about this. Um, and then if I'll open it up and show you the colours, it's nice because they're, they're pretty different. You can see there that there really isn't any replication. Obviously, you've got your warm browns in there, but you need them. You, you, that the would be a nightmare without them. I think it's really good. I think it's a really nice addition. And I was excited when I saw the colours. Purples are really a vibe right now. I'm just going to do three looks. I'm going to start off with something super wearable. So I'm going to show you guys how to use this palette. Because obviously, it's quite loud if you look at it. But if you almost just focus in on these colours here, you've got your everyday looks. No problem at all. And then what we're going to do is a slightly smokier eye using some of the fun colours. And then we're going to do something a little bit more Instagram makeup, a little bit artistic, a little bit kind of graphic. We'll play around with it. Okay, me and you, you and I, we're going to sit and play with makeup today. I've never done one of these videos before. And I actually, I've not watched any videos about this palette on purpose because I just want to do my own thing, see what happens. All right, I'm going to zoom you in. Let's start. <laughs> So the one thing I do know about this palette is it is Jaclyn's formula with Morphe. I'm not going to talk about it too much because I actually love this palette and I know that so, so many people do, the original Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm pretty sure uh, all these matte shades, all these formulas are the same and there's a new glitter formula. For my eyeshadow base, I'm going to use the Radiant Creamy Concealer and this is in the shade Sucre d'Orge. Can't speak French, so don't don't judge that. And I'm just gonna chuck this on. It's quite tanned, but I really like that. I don't want anything too bright for the first look. And I I'm gonna use a couple of different bases. So my plan is, guys, I'm gonna show you this palette. I've not used it. I've not touched it yet. And I'm gonna do both my eyes this time. But for the next two looks, I'm gonna take off my makeup and do one eye off camera, just so I know where I'm going and so the looks don't end up looking too similar. So many of you guys are gonna get this palette. I know it already. So why not show you guys how to use it in a few different ways? Okay, let's have a look at the colors. I'm gonna go in with the shade Love Handles first, which is this color right here. Oh nice, I think this is going to be a nice day to day look which is exactly what I was wanting. I'm just using my Smith brushes, this is the 232. So obviously this kind of look you can do with any of the colours in the palette. You just start off nice and light but we're going to do just a really soft peachy crease and under eye with a little bit of shimmer on the lid. And that my friends is such a nice day to day look. It's a little bit something something, it's a little bit different because of the peachy colour but it's really inoffensive, super fresh. It's going on really easily. These these eyeshadows are a really nice formula. I do like them. I'm just gonna go under the eye with a slightly deeper shade. So this is the shade Comfort Zone. It's just right next to the one we used. It's just a tiny bit darker. I'm gonna go under the eye. I love doing a smoky under eye. And it just kind of ties the colors together. Might just take a little bit of that on the outer corner just to tie that in. But a really nice soft peachy eye. I think that's really nice for everybody. Oh cute, it's quite, um, I don't know, it's just because my hair and my hoops, but I feel quite saved by the bell. And then for the shimmer on the lid, let's use the shade Get Ready With Me, G-R-W-M, which is this one. And I'm just going to go in with my finger. Oh nice. It's a nice formula. Super easy. I think that's what I like about these eyeshadows is they're really easy and they're kind of predictable. You know what they're going to do. You don't need to work hard to make them work. I really don't think you should have to do that with eyeshadows anyway. Um, to finish off, I'm going to use the Bambi Eye Full Slash Mascara from L'Oreal. And this, my friends, is a classic soft... What is it they say on TikTok? Soft girl. It's kind of killing my soul right now knowing that I'm putting mascara on and I'm going to just have to try and take it off. But <laughs> I do want you guys to see the finished look. I don't want to just be like, imagine this with mascara. <laughs> 
Do you know what, as well, I will say, I don't think I've got too many eyeshadows that colour. I'm just putting a decent amount of mascara on. I actually love this mascara so much. So you guys, that is such a fresh, natural look. I think this could be a really nice way to wear the palette that's super easy. Um, really nice for day to day as well. You can obviously switch out the colours and not have it quite as peachy, but I actually think that that is quite fun. So there you go. I'll show you guys far away. Nice and fresh, nice and blended. Super easy to do. I think it only took me about five minutes, really. But yes, first look of success. I am going to go um, and take this off and do one of my eyes off camera and then I'll be back and we will do the second look. Done it. <laughs> I'm just having to play around with the colours and this is what I created. I'm going to stick a lash on but I thought we could just do both eyes together. I'm going to start off with the same primer as last time. I'm just going to use the NARS concealer. I really just like this as a primer. I think it's really good. When you pack the shadows on and you're doing a smoky eye like what I've done, it really doesn't move. Uh, and I've got quite oily eyelids these days, which is crazy because I never flipping used to it. And all oh, the makeup came off super easy. Just patched up my face where I needed to. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to go in with, we use all the kind of purpley colours, the pinky colours. I'm going to go in with Oh Hello. Pretty much is the big blown out smoky. And then I use the shade Crazy to darken it up and the shade Empowered on the lid. So it's just these three colours here. But obviously the nice thing about this palette is if you like this style of makeup, you can use the purples if you want. You can use all the different variations, but the colours I picked I actually really like. I do think they look quite pinky on the eye, but plums do do that. They do do. <laughs> when they're all blended out, they just start to go a bit pink. And then the shimmer, obviously, that's the kind of pinkest part. But yeah, let's go. So I'm going to go in with Oh Hello. So I'm just pressing that on in the outer corner. I just think it's so good to have a big smoky eye. Uh, especially how fun it is in colour. I think it looks amazing. It reminds me of the old days. And I'm going to use that brush to start wiggling the product. I actually went in with this brush again. This is the Morphe M456. I'm going to go in with this brush and I literally just went like this under the eye. That's it. That's all I did under the eye. <laughs> so I brought that onto the lid a little bit. And then I'm going to swap over to my slightly bigger brush and go in with the shade Oh Hello again. And I've just got a little mirror here just so I can really see what I'm doing. But I use this big brush and I like doing this to really test the shadows as well because it's a pretty dark colour but when you start blending it out it's got a really nice pink gradient you can see. And it just starts blowing out really nice and easily. Again, all about the easy life with eyeshadows. It should not be difficult to do a smoky eye. And it should be fun. It should be fun to play with. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Crazy, the darker plum that I showed you. And I'm going to just darken right there. You can see it's not too super dark, but it's nice. And then again, I'm just taking my time with my big brush. You guys know the script. Blow the back and forth. And then while we're here, I'm going to go in with the shade Empowered, which is that gorgeous shimmer. And I like spraying my shimmers with my All Nighter Setting Spray. And then I'm just going to pack that on the lid. And you can see, woohoo! Super, super, super pigmented. I wonder, I think this might be the new formula, but it's really, really nice. I'm going to blend that. That lid colour is wild. It's so good. Such a nice formula. I'm going to go in a little bit more crazy. Just building up the dark where I need to. And then let's do some liner. So the liner that I'm using at the moment is the Stila All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Really, really like it. And I'm just going to do a wing. There isn't really a inner corner highlight shade. I wonder if that's because of Jacqueline's highlighter collection that she's done on her own brand. But I'm gonna go in with just the highlighter I've been using lately, just to highlight the inner corner. And I'm gonna go with brow bone. And then yeah, we need some mascara. So I'm gonna use the Bambi Lash Mascara again by L'Oreal Paris. Really, really, really like it. And I love it. Nice chunky lower lash with a smoky eye as well. For lashes, I'm going to use the Tatty Lashes in TL3. They're so nice and are quite spiky. But what I like to do is cut them in half. Half lashes are just so flattering and really elongating for your eye as well. So I'm going to get my lash. I'm going to cut it directly in half. And then I'm going to use the inner corner of the lash. So it's a little bit shorter. But I'm going to glue that up. This also I find so much more comfortable than wearing a big long lash uh, that goes right along my lash line. Um, I almost always cut at least enough off that my inner corner's free because that just drives me crazy. 
Oh my god, I love it. Honestly, it makes me feel like I look like a cartoon character or something, and I really don't mind. And that is the finished look for the smoky eye. I'll zoom you out so you can have a look. There you go, so it's super fun. Again, if you love playing with colour, uh, I just think this is a really fun look. And obviously, like I said, you can use the colours in loads of different variations to create a smoky eye really similar. Technically, I've just used two match shadows in the crease and a shimmer on the lid, but you can, yeah, you can play around with the colours. So this is this look. And I'm gonna go and take it off and do one more. So I'm gonna take this off, um, do one eye off camera just like last time, then I'll be back to finish the other eye and that will be our final look. Hello. Uh, I've accidentally <laughs> saved my favourite look for last. I was going to do a cut crease and then I realised really quickly that I honestly don't wear cut creases as much anymore. I think I just prefer this style of makeup. So I just thought I would show you this all and I'm sure that there's a million cut crease tutorials with this palette out there already. I just wanted to create something I was like, if I was to do my makeup today uh, for a picture for Instagram. If I wanted to take a really sassy little picture, what would I do? And it's this Bratz doll-esque, wash of colour all over, super dark waterline, and the flick, if you look back at the look I just did, the flick was much more like this. I love a straight out cat eye. It just it makes everything look super sinister, if I'm being honest. So we're gonna go in with our NARS concealer. I actually ended up using this for all my looks today. So it's great, so you've kind of got three strong looks that you can swap about your colours for this palette and all of them are just looks that I would do all the time. I love a full colour matte shadow all over the lid with a really great liner and lash. I think it's one of my strongest looks, it's one of my favourite looks by far. And then the colours we've done, we've kind of done the four corners. So the first colour I'm going to go in with is Therapy Sesh and then underneath it's Not My Journey. That is not my, it's not my journey. So we're gonna do therapy session all over the lid and then underneath the eye we use not my journey. And then on the inner corner I used a moment, a lilac moment. Pigment's great, uh, especially because quite a lot of the time when you're using a super bright colour, if you want it to be the brightest ever, using a white base is great, but I never really thought and I just used the concealer and I actually really like the, the colour that came out, so top tip. If you're wanting your colours to really pop, a white base is great. I know that P. Louise do one, um, white concealer even. I think quite a lot of brands do white concealers now. But that colour to me is really good. Right over the lid, right over the crease, up towards the brow, and then we're gonna, we're gonna blend it out. But you really want your colour to be nice and strong for this look. So I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush into Therapy Sesh again. And I'm just gonna blend that out. As far as purples go, I think this is really good. I'm sure that purples are difficult to make, but this is looking good. And then under the eye, I used the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil. Oh God, I didn't know it was a lip pencil. <laughs> and Pandemonium. The whole way along my lash line. And then, little smudger brush. We're gonna go in the shade Not My Journey. And I kinda packed it on and wiggled backwards and forwards. You can see it's just a bit darker, it's a bit more blue toned as well. Just going in with a slightly more dense brush and the shade A Moment, which is honestly just like the lid colour but with shimmer. And that's what we're going to use for our inner corner this time, just to keep everything super purple. I know that the last look was quite pink, so I'm trying to change it up, I'm trying my hardest, I'm trying my very, very hardest. And then while we're at this stage, I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon in Blacker. This is my favourite black pencil, it just doesn't go anywhere. So I'm gonna go right in the waterline and you almost need to do it until your eye is dry enough for the product to stick. It's quite weird, but once it's there, it's not going anywhere. Now for the eyeliner, this might take me a minute. So see, naturally I now do my liner quite high up. So I have to think, I have to make a conscious effort to make my eyeliner straight. So this is how I used to do my eyeliner all the time, all the time. And then I kind of started playing around with the shape of it a little bit. I'm just gonna go in with the Bambi mascara again. It's really, really fun playing with the shape of your liner because it does totally change your eye shape, which I, I really like. I love having intimidating, kind of bitchy. That is my favorite. 
But yeah, I just think it's a really, really fun way to play with your eye makeup, changing up the shape of your liner. I feel like I really don't suit this, but an amazing thing to change your eye shape is to add the little tips on the inner corner. It makes your eyes look super feline and it's just so beautiful. But um, I think that my eyes are quite close together to do that. I don't think I can get away with it. And then I'm just going to glue up the half tatty lash, the TL3 that we used earlier. And I'm so excited. I'm really glad I didn't do a cut crease. I do love cut creases, but I would way sooner go to a look like this, which is still kind of dramatic, you know, it's still fun. It's definitely not a natural look, but I just think it's way more my, my current style. Um, so I thought I better show you guys this. And I think that we really had fun with all the colours in the palette. Yeah, I really like it. I think, I think it's a really nice palette. Super easy to use and quite fun as well. Which is all you really want. So you guys, that is the finished look. I really like all three looks. I think the first look is perfect for day to day. This is probably my favorite. I do like the middle look, but it is just a really kind of normal smoky eye. The colors are really fun, but I really just, I'm so obsessed with a bright color all over the lids right now. It's my absolute favorite. So let me know what look was your favourite. I know that tons of you guys have probably already picked this up, but I definitely recommend it. I think it's really, really fun. I think it's a great palette. I think the colours are gorgeous. I think as well that there's enough colours in here that I really honestly don't think I've got. So let me know what you guys think down below. Hello, it's Jamie from the future. How are you? I forgot to say, I let me know as well down below if you like this style of video. I've never done it before, I know it's super popular, so let me know if you would like me to do this with any other palettes. Sorry for my interruption, bye. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. I really like the new packaging. I just can't even believe it. Oh God, no, that's the back. <laughs> I think that purples are really, oh, I'm gonna drop it. There you go, look how easy that is. Oh my god, what is going on with my fringe? I think could be just a really nice way to wear the palette. Ooh, did I even speak English there? Four, five, six, seven, eight. My boobs go, baby. Drive me crazy. My fish balls. For mascara, I'm gonna go with the. Oh, no, liar, liar, liar. Why do liar? Oh, I can't believe I'm literally putting eyelashes on just to take them off again. A lilac moment. Oh god, I just dug that into my fucking highlighter. Oh god, wee eye booger. I've spat everywhere. <laughs>